Jonathan Sautel. Staff Sergeant Travis Sanford. I'm the Captain and the Operations Officer for the 10th Combat Weather Squadron, Air Force Special Operations Command. Me as Special Operations Weatherman, I deploy in austere environments uh, to observe, forecast, and collect any kind of environmental data that can effectively enhance strategic and real-time uh, battlefield situations. As a Special Ops Meteorologist, I take a look at an area of operations such as Afghanistan. I take a look at where the friendly forces are, where the enemy is, and the objectives we want to accomplish. I take the limited number of Special Ops weather teams and equipment we have and determine where they need to go so we can best buy down risk and give us the greatest advantage over the enemy. Your first forecast is always your, your most important forecast. We collect the most important information of the weather, the snowpack, the rivers, the trafficability of the roads and the conditions, and we advise the commanders of the timing, the severity, and the impacts of the operations. If you're wrong, you're going to endure the tough time with them, you know, so they can respect that. We have to be able to manage our complete and total understanding of the science of meteorology and then at the same time we need to be able to have a mastery understanding of mission planning, of military decision making, and then integrate the weather information in a relevant way, in a timely way, so that somebody can take action on our info. It was uh, one of my, my first deployment in 2010, it was one of my very first missions actually. In uh, late February 2006 I was on an air base in Afghanistan. and. Uh, I just got into the team. I'm just, you know, kind of vetting myself. I'm, I'm trying to be part of the team and do everything I can. So we're going on a mission. It's just supposed to be uh, a simple reconnaissance patrol. And there was a suicide bomber at the gate and a mass casualty event. Uh, and I had a teammate that was shot. Uh, and it was in the vicinity of me. And it, for that moment, it was like part of me was a scared. And then training kicked in, and you remember what you had to do. And, more than uh, 40 wounded were brought in to the hospital where I was at at the time, uh, visiting a friend. And I just think about what my teammates back home would do, what my friends would think. Like when I make a decision, you know, this is their impression of me. So that's where is, you know, I made the decision that hey, I'm gonna do everything I can. So I, I went and helped recover the casualty, and we got him on a helicopter flight. And uh, we put on our gloves, and we were able to help triage and treat the wounded and uh, he was able to make it back to the United States before he eventually uh, passed away. I gave it everything I had. We are augmented not only as meteorologists, but as uh, special ops warriors trained every day to be able to uh, medicate and survive in any situation. It's the fun stuff that everybody wants to do, but you're jumping out of airplanes and you get to blow stuff up. You're working with uh, explosives and things like that. So kind of a jack-of-all-trades, you're, you're expert in weather, but you kind of got your hands dirty on a lot of other things. 